Australia, where all they are building, uh, increasing their proxy infrastructure for content censoring, because they are already considering, or they are working along the idea of, if I can't see it, it, it must have disappeared. So, I mean, they're, uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> they're extending the splinters in their eyes to, uh, to, um, big lumps of wood to so that they can't see anymore and we want uh, want to have a, pl a Firefox plugin that can actually fetch a uh, website from via some proxies uh, um, that um, yeah it gets fetches uh, different um, websites from different countries via proxy to and shows me the diff of uh, the the contents of those website uh, automated censorship Devs will uh, be uh, interesting for organizations like archive.org, uh, we guess. So Adobe Flash uh, next. Yeah, um, well, uh, Flash, let's think, 2009, we'll have so much fun with it. It's You, you always have to remember. Uh, there's a lot of things adding up. Interesting things happen when different things are multiplied somehow. So Flash is somehow as it is, and Flash has a uh, as an interface to attached web f uh, webcams and uh, integrated microphones. And for the um, for the uh, stage Trojan uh, spying software 3.0, um, that's interesting. And um, even if Flash 10 is fixed, Flash 9 will still work. So right, because Flash um, 9 is still in existence. And uh, in every laptop we have a camera in the front. It's quite normal nowadays. And um, it's a... Uh, well, that's what yeah, you think. That's what you think. Uh, I think... Uh, I think when I... Uh, when I'm interested in my data quality, I want also do key logging, but also photos um, and uh, yeah, yeah I mean, make do photos. Do photographs by key logging and uh, yeah, yeah it's going to be very interesting. Photos are much better because you already know who's typing what. Um, yeah, bad networks 2.0. I think it has pretty made clear that actually trusting your, trusting your network has become a bad idea. So uh, yeah, you, that's that's what people say nowadays. Is like the net isn't trustworthy because it can actually be listened to, and uh, so that's the reprox standard question: Has it been actually uh, encrypted? So because it can be listened uh, to. So uh, nowadays, it's not only that uh, the networks aren't uh, passively bad, but actively bad. So um, things are happening. Um, we've heard about SSL man in the middle just now, and. Uh, and also about uh, TLS problem. Uh, I don't know if you heard about that. The most of the email clients can uh, do TLS nowadays, and but they uh, I have as default I'll um, use uh, TLS, and if it doesn't work, uh, I use don't use TLS. And um, the O2 uh, um, also had um, on their gateways um, they shut or filtered SSL or TSS on their standard gateways, and so um, lots of uh, clients uh, suddenly silently so turned to switch back to clear text, and um, uh, it's, it's a uh, yeah, fallback exploit. Fall back exploit. Um, so. Right, and it's an important decision after all. Do you actually prefer a crypto or whatever? So, you actually have to take a special look at the configuration and what does the, for example, the Java client, what does it do when you select the, uh, TSL? Does it do TSL all the time or does it only do TLS, TLS whenever it works and especially what kind of cipher does it use? Well, uh, yeah, can I enforce MD5 or something similar? Well, next one. SSL, uh, probably it's very broken. broken by design, or pretty much broken. Yeah. Now the question is... And someone uh, replicated the attacks. Uh, will it re-replicate it? How secure was the machine that where the key was on? Was the machine here in the network? Maybe uh, the yeah. about bad network. Talking networks. about bad networks. Well, yeah. Um, yeah. Right. And I mean, there's so, so many, many networks, you know. Yeah. 
so so many uh, networks, so many certificate authorities, and it's a little complicated. Right, intelligent power meters. Yeah, we have them on the market now. I, I find this really rather interesting. <laughs> yeah, this is regionally very diverse in Germany, and I. Uh, I it well, I didn't I nearly didn't put it on the slides, but in Hamburg, if you call Vattenfall, the local power company, and ask them for a intelligent power meter, then they'll tell you, no, sorry, uh, only if you live there and there where we are force testing it with everybody. But this is stupid. I mean. Uh, relocate moving your home to another power supplier that's not something you really want to do but ENBW uh, provider in the south they offer it and there's the other one what was his name huh? yellow yeah yellow. right yellow uh, they are doing intelligent power meters too but <laughs> then you need yellow never mind uh, power I don't know can I actually live with this because it's uh, uh, it's nuclear power? Well, whatever. <laughs> and then the newest update is you can have a intelligent power meter from them even if you don't actually aren't a, or if you aren't a customer of this power company. So there's no excuse for you not to have one and have some fun with the device. Yeah. For example, in California, they're thinking about um, if they. Shouldn't also add um, uh, intelligent uh, electricity Power meters, but uh, but also uh, um, controlling the um, Power yeah. usage pattern. Power For usage. Example, so your, um, your air condition can be switched off when it's hot or when the power is low. Yeah. So There's they can lots and lots of potential. I think if they you calculated it for the Netherlands. If everybody would configure their uh, freezing storage, ha the big storage houses, if they would be programmed for them to, I don't know, turn off their power for half an hour a day, it, you will save gigawatts, gigawatts of power. But I mean, after all, uh, the temperature would only rise for about what one degree. So that's, uh, and don't forget, we'll then have a blinking lights you can actually see from Google Earth. Well, we will have we'll that, just yeah. disregarding everything. So Either way. Yeah, keep, keep track of that. Question from the public? Doesn't make sense. We didn't understand the question from the power from the audience. Yeah, it's all right. SMMP v3 was the the, the bug uh, that two, uh, 2008 that happened um, that actually um, didn't get recognized enough. Um, and what? Yeah. What happened there is SMMP v3 usually gets encrypted, and you can do authentication with the cryptographic authentication but uh, interestingly the client can say how long the encryption should be and it, if it says uh, encryption is zero then this leads to that you can hack the SNP authentication with about I think 256 packets among others lots and lots of uh, of lawful interception infrastructure works with SNMP v3 it's a good idea to I don't know expand your your working area a bit in 2009 the management interface of the management interface right while we're talking about systems which hopefully will Get more be attention. granted a bit more attention attention thank you in 2009 service configurations from Cisco or packet inspection systems which are other words for censoring systems which are on the internet and filter protocols URLs and stuff like that and Cisco builds them and if we think about the talk about yesterday about Cisco exploits we have remote execution, remote code execution, I think we find that there's still some potential with these packet inspection systems. So, autonomous flying robots. So, it was promised to us 
for 2009 that um, it'll be many many activists flying objects uh, uses and uh, let's say responsible measures so we're looking forward to that it was it was a promise I'm really interested in that but I think what we might ask is are these going to be many many cheap ones or a few large ones Target attacks. Um, yeah, we've already talked about it. Um, there's going to be. Um, yeah, we have a custom torch and with zero day. It will uh, uh, grow and grow, and I think it's gone so far that uh, 2008 we had target attacks uh, against little NGOs uh, who had been uh, used with Odays. So um, Odays had attacked, targeted, attacked NGOs, and um, so that. Yeah, you have to consider this is the current level on which we are. Somebody is using a zero level of a certain value, which is attacking a certain NGO with what, like five uh, employees? But yeah, uh, we, we think that uh, also will uh, develop further on. Yeah, at the moment yeah. it's rather it's all hand handmade or so homemade. We are working and it's all manual labor and quite expensive but in the future we expect I mean we all started out that way but it will be selective automated attacks so selective attacks target a group of people T-Mobile uh, um, started that with uh, there was this um, surveillance of journalists in Germany and uh, we noticed that uh, there was a special tariff for journalists and um, if yeah. you can't go to the, your target uh, group, you can still make sure that the target group comes to you. Uh, so, if you want a telephone for very cheap and you're a journalist, we'll get it, give you it even cheaper because. And we, of course, know you're a journalist and uh, so many. <laughs> right. Uh, Next, we'll see special tariffs for hackers. Yeah. Think twice before you wanted to fix IP on uh, your DSL router and how expensive that actually is. Yeah, well, and parallel, we have these uh, this development where you don't write a Trojan per bank, but just for a whole group of banks, the multi-bank Trojans. What uh, doesn't get any points is Java and uh, Adobe Reader and... Uh, We'll give out points if there's funny, uh, harmful routines there. It's a little boring. And Vista, uh, Vista yeah. was also boring. We we're, on, we're not uh, going to talk about Vista because no one's using it. <laughs> so yeah. Right. Antivirus. Antivirus software is. Yeah, the sign it's it's broken. The signature uh, concept is broke. It's it's dead. Where you this is basically been dying. Two thousand eight, large part of the companies which were successful uh, for the attack signatures, where they talked with the industry, they have heuristics which might work, but but they all live from sending out signature updates per uh, by, uh, by you're renting your updates so, so they have technology which might work but they're not shipping it because you're not making as much money with it yeah. it's much more profit slowly the antivirus uh, industry is getting the pharma industry there are lots and lots of similarities like the pharmaceutical industry hmm? And if you compare it to farmer C or medicine, there you'll have some side effects. And I mean, w y you can see that in this year AV antivirus software has become a huge risk. So either it uh, actually is, is takes part your uh, uh, operating system, or it uh, is a yeah. platform for other yeah. things that take part your operating but system. But I think new, new areas of interest um, so the tip to the antivirus companies deploy these heuristics but it might 
you might not be able to sell uh, updates for the signatures, but we, but you can sell updates for software which is clearly harmless but uh, looks strange. Well, we have software that looks fishy, but 